So for the coolant system I've been using the quarter inch lock line with uh, quarter inch nozzles. For the rear I was using a straight nozzle and for the two front nozzles I was using 90 degree nozzles. Uh, for the sake of testing, since Tormach includes a half inch uh, off brand I guess uh, coolant system I figured I'd switch to the half inch system and see how that improved flow or if it made any uh, difference at all. My estimate is this is going to flow 500 gallons per hour. Uh, this stuff flew, uh, flowed 295-ish gallons per hour. So my, from what I saw, this should flow up around 500. And the pump, I don't remember what the pump is rated at. I don't want to say it's like uh, 1,200 gallons per hour or something like that. So uh, with the lift height of about 5 feet, 5.5 feet, that's, uh, that's seems like a reasonable loss, especially going through all the, all the system that it's going through. So I'm going to test it and put it together. I got the manifold waiting on the new hoses. One of the, one of the changes is that I don't have uh, two step down adapters uh, in order to make this work. I've only got only got this configuration. So I'm a little bit happier about that. Uh, should be reduced system losses. Uh, however, it should be mentioned that the uh, the coolant return system was pretty close to its limit as it was with the quarter inch line so if I go too much more I will probably have to dial it back in order to get the coolant system to flow like it needs to uh, the coolant return system to flow like it like it should That was 14 seconds uh, and a quarter or so. So the first thing I noticed about the new nozzles, since they're straight, I think mostly, and uh, also because the inside diameter is probably a lot larger than the nozzle tip rather than about the same size, the flow quality is a lot better. The streams are a lot uh, more constant I guess uh, rather than broken so here's a run two gallons to give you an idea what it looks like on the inside probably a little bit more yeah, right about two gallons there you go. In fact, that might be the uh, closest to two gallons I've reached. Anyway, there it is. So I just checked the system running into the uh, open here, and the coolant return system is definitely overwhelmed with this. I uh, shut it off before it overflowed the tray that's underneath the uh, chip screen there. So here's what it looks like when it's uh, running wide open without going into a bucket. Here's 
the return underneath. Can't really see what's going on with the chip tray, but it's filling up slowly. This isn't even returning the full volume of what's on, what's coming in from the top.